I have a very important video for you today where we're going to be talking you through should you actually be very cautious right now and preparing yourself for a very big crash to the downside on Bitcoin, which can negatively affect the whole of the crypto market, bringing the altcoins down with it. This is a scenario you have to be aware of. Even if you're very bullish, you need to be aware of what I'm going to be showing you today in this video. Of course, I will touch on the ABC Fibonacci uh, one to one extension that we came into now to complete that corrective zigzag Elliott wave pattern that is currently giving us this bounce to the upside. I took a long trade yesterday. For example, here uh, in, in 12 hours, we've seen a 20% rise to the upside. That's giving nearly $400 profit in less than a day of trading. So there is opportunity galore in this market right now, very much so on altcoins. So I want to be touching on alts in this video, as well as the Bitcoin predictions that I have. I feel I'm going to be able to help you a lot. And again, I'm not just giving you the analysis. I'm coming in here. I'm taking trades. I'm showing you, well, you know, putting my money where my mouth is. And uh, that's what I want to talk you through in this video. A very quick one minute update. And this is the trading account, the conservative trading account that, of course, I've created. Why? Because I want to be very transparent, honest with you, all, showing you all my trades, the trade history, exactly what I'm doing. OK, and with this conservative swing account, we are currently up seven hundred dollars from the 29th. So basically two weeks since this account has been created, 100% win rate. We've won every single trade that has been taken. And when we look at this, $776. And today on the 12th, we're making another well, around $300, bringing us up to $1,000 of profit in two weeks of trading with position size all around $3,000. So this is the account growth that I can achieve, that I teach my students watching these videos to achieve alongside me, right? That's what I want to get you up to. And that I know I can do if you listen closely. So let's start off by reviewing Bitcoin together. Then we'll look at some alts. So yeah, really simply, actually, in the end, we came up to the value area high once more <laughs> of the range. And from this value area high, it ended in a very simple swing failure pattern. This last high from the 21st of May, as you can see, $72,069. And then we formed this high on the 7th of June at exactly $72,086. So a very small, but nevertheless, swing failure pattern. They, of course, a bearish setup at this point. And you've got a impulse to the downside. After that impulse to the downside, you get a retrace taking out the psychological $70,000 and then a subsequent move to the downside. What are you looking at? If you have studied Elliott Waves in Chart Champions, this is something that I'm very passionate about and have taught and released the whole modules to do with Elliott Waves. So if you want to learn about it, you know you can. Uh, but really simply at this point, you are looking for the one-to-one -one extension. Why? Because we're looking at this as an impulse, corrective impulse. That's an ABC zigzag and the target is the one-to-one -one Fibonacci extensions. This is what I was showing my team yesterday in my daily morning live stream updates. Really simply, we're looking for another move to the downside to around $60,000 to hit that A, B, C, one-to-one -one corrective target. And then from there, that's where we can look for the reversal, right? At that major zone that we have on the intraday basis. Reminding my team after that, as mentioned on the stream, one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension is the target. We got to be expecting lower for that to come next. There's no need to long before that is hit. I have a guess what happened next, my friends. We're waiting for the one-to-one. -one. The one-to-one -one is hit. Okay, bottoming out, as you know, it's $60,010. OK, because of myself, I understand that that is a $10 front run from my perspective. I did not take the long on Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin has got a rise, but I was locking in my altcoin long trades. And that is what I got locked in on this one. Beercoin, shout out to Beercoin overnight with a 20% almost bounce to the upside. This is just insane. If you took it from the exact low to high, 25% bounce in six hours. So I did not take the Bitcoin long, but I was, as you know, locking in a long on beer. And if you watch my live trading stream last night, not, but we tried on Rune and not USDT. Uh, they also had significant bounces. As you know, I was trying to get into that long on the swing failure pattern, but we had an account glitch. Uh, but not actually ending with a 7% bounce to the upside. Rune also getting that bounce. And I know, as you can see here, people getting into those long trades saying thank you is 
profits were made and it was very enjoyable indeed, right? Uh, but really simply what I'm trying to emphasize here is um, Bitcoin come down to that one-to-one -one target that we were waiting for. I personally did not take the long on Bitcoin because I was waiting for 10 small dollars, which in the end hasn't came, but I was very aggressive on the altcoins. I recognized we're at support. I'm not going to long Bitcoin, but I am going to be longing the altcoins. I was getting into my longs or trying to on Rune or not, got filled on Beercoin, and they've all had significant bounces to the upside. I mean, Beercoin here, 25%. And these are off of simple theories such as swing failure patterns. So you see on Bitcoin, how it ended in a simple swing failure pattern of the high. These other coins that we were going through on stream yesterday, if you haven't watched it, it was the live stream I did on YouTube yesterday. You can go back and watch it. It was very nice, okay, and educational still at this point. But the reason of longing not was swing failure pattern. The reason of longing rune, swing failure pattern. So it's the same theories, whether you're trading Bitcoin, whether you're trading altcoin that you're going for here, okay? So to answer the question of, are we lining up for a big major crash? Or is this the area of opportunity for longs, okay? I want to explain one thing first of all, okay? And again, I'm not just saying this, I'm proving to you the results, I'm showing you the trades, I'm showing you all of my uh, history, exactly what I've got going on here. You know, I'm not hiding anything or, or scared to show. This is my whole account balances, right? Okay, of these accounts that I made specifically for the keeping this honest and transparent. Because I've told you on live stream yesterday, I'll tell you again today, there are many, many scammers. They're out here faking results. They're blowing up accounts. Okay, this is a real account, real money. I'm just trading it in a way that I'm teaching. And so you can see that everything I'm telling you here is real. Okay, and what I, why am I emphasizing this? Because you can see the profits. Look at the PL curve. Okay, I'm not taking a win and then hiding some losses. This is the whole account PL curve. And I'm telling you, I do not need to predict whether the market is crashing next or whether we're going to new all time highs to make profits. I can say I don't mind whether the market pumps, goes to new all time high, or dumps. Okay, over the past few weeks, we've seen a little rise. We've also seen drops to the downside. And I'm still up with a massive PL curve, right? So this is really emphasizing to you stop trying to predict or guess where the market's going next. Just set your alerts, be patient, wait for the reaction and take those trades. When you're coming down to area of support, look for longs. When you're coming up to areas of resistance, look for shorts, okay? So I could be saying, is there a massive market pump coming next? Well, the answer could be yes, but I'm still going to look for my shorts at areas of resistance, okay? And then if we get through that resistance and hold it as support and we get no bearish reaction, well, then I simply wouldn't lock in that short trade, okay? So what I really want you to understand from this video, the takeaway, and I am going to go a bit more in depth here, but the first major thing I want you to take away is we do not need to predict the market to make money. Of course, when we're taking these trades, we are predicting the areas it's coming into, okay? But we are trading the reaction. And that is so massively important. That is how I'm getting, we we'll simply put, a 100% win rate. And I don't want to say that this is realistic. I'm, I'm on a very good streak at the moment. I go through these long streaks. And a lot of people in the past have just said, this is, in, this is insane. How do you do this? Well, here I am again with a 100% win rate over two weeks, uh, 15 trades deep, right? And... This is not from luck. This is because I am on this account. I made it clear. I am waiting for the A plus star setups. I'm only taking the best trades on this account. And that's how I've got such a good win rate. I'm waiting for the best. As you know, I created the $100,000 trading account, which is going to be more aggressive. That we can be looking for like a 70% win rate because I, I am going to take more losses on that account. Um, but when you are waiting for the best and patient, well, the profits are coming in and it's clear as day. And so what am I waiting for next then on Bitcoin? Well, I would like to see one of two things. We're, we're at the old range point of control, right? So this is slightly shifted now. But when you remember the old range point of control, that's coming in at $67,700. This is out ever so slightly shifted, a little bit higher, as you can see here. 
uh oh actually a little bit lower so there you go it's actually sh this is the thing the volume is changing every single minute of the day so this is where you need to be aware we had it shift up to around sixty nine thousand, and now it's come back down below price so we are basically in a very significant area currently then uh with the volume over the past few hours we've got the point of control as support but i would not forget what it was like just a few days ago back at sixty seven thousand seven hundred dollars so this zone that we're in is very crucial right we want to see this get on to the reclaim as you can see i hope you can see this we have come up with this rally to yesterday's vwap with the then it's not the previous range but i want to call it like a massive significant high volume node at this point a resistance just above us so if we want to see continuation today we need to see that reclaimed right and held as support then we can look for this rally to the, really get underway if we though see unable to get above this we'll be looking back down to take out that sixty thousand psychological level next okay so you could say at this point again if you took a very quick trade off the vwap yesterday i think you've already taken profits at this point so what would we be waiting for next again we do not need to predict what's happening next we just need to react to what happens next i would look to react to a reclaim of this point of control yesterday's previous day high or alternatively a rejective candle where we can look for those shorts and bring it back down to take out sixty thousand psychological that is the way that I am waiting on Bitcoin. My bigger trades, honestly, still remain up at around seventy-two and sixty-five thousand dollars. But intraday, we have some very aggressive style of trading. The conservative really is still waiting for around sixty-five to seventy-two point six. Okay, so that's where you need to weigh up: Are you being more conservative? Are you being more aggressive? uh and you know or you can have two accounts like me and, and and trade it like that but for me overall yeah on bitcoin remaining a little bit patient here uh if you want to see me live trading where we're going through altcoins where we're taking trades i got the power hour live trade tonight with me uh severin and eagle will be covering crypto will be covering the futures market so if you're interested in that you can join uh the champions where you get access to of course to the daily live streams we've now added in significant focus on live trading the transparency showing you the accounts showing you what we're doing here so if you want to get involved on that tonight uh yeah we have the power hour stream with myself igor and severin the other chart champions coaches so i hope that you have enjoyed this video i hope that by me showing you the trades it's giving you a little bit of inspiration that even with small accounts you're able to extract major profits okay and you know three thousand dollars already a thousand dollars profit in two weeks it just shows you what's possible i hope this is inspiring to you i hope at the end of the day i'm just doing this to be transparent and honest because i do feel there is a lot of scammers and this should be the norm it should be the norm um so yeah i hope that you've enjoyed if you want to see the live trading you know where to get it via chart champions and of course the whole of the educational content if you want to touch up on elliot waves and the like uh, all of that we got everything for you chartchampions.com hope you've enjoyed this one thank you ever so much and that is me signing out cheers everybody thank you and goodbye cheers